Hello everyone, and welcome to my next video on Dungeons and Dragons. As a DM, I find sometimes that I need assistance in creating a non-player character. I found an interesting website that uh, is called Fantasy Name Generators. Uh, type it in, all in one word, uh, no spaces, dot com, and this is the website that you'll get. Um, it's an interesting uh, site because you can go fantasy names, real names, place names, which are pretty interesting. Others, pop culture, description, general descriptions. Uh, for instance, now let's say uh, the one I thought was really cool uh, is ghost town descriptions. Let's say you had a campaign and you wanted to put a ghost town in play. Well, you click the button, come on down, and it gives you an interesting little synopsis of the town. Uh, let me read it to you. <clears throat> the once jam-packed roads that led to, and I can't pronounce that, so I'm not going to bother, we'll call it uh, Pace Town, uh, was slowly absorbed back into nature's grass, flowers, and small shrubs reclaimed what they can as fast as they can. The wind gently sways the tall grasses in the abandoned gardens, while wild bushes make their claims on every acre not taken by the grass. Remnants of packages and magazines still lay at some of the doorsteps unopened and long forgotten. At least the animals got some use out of them. Clothing, home appliance, and other belongings were left lost and broken outside some of the homes. There, there were of no use to anyone anymore. Pew Town, once a major hub for new businesses and young families, was now but an eerie shell of its former self. Creaking of wood, the grinding of metal on metal, were only the sounds in this town now. They were disturbing noises in a disturbing environment. Collapsed wooden walkways and a few uh, sunken boats littered the relatively small docks. Some of the sunken boats had burst bird nests in them, but most were simply covered in shells and slowly reclaimed by nature. Despite the decay of the building, there was a certain amount of charm to the, about the town. Everything was greener as nature grew wild, and the quiet during the day was almost peaceful. But even with all the animals that lived here now and made this their town their new home, you couldn't escape the feeling that so much had been lost forever. Okay, so this is not necessarily a, dis a, dis a description of a town you would find in a D&D campaign, but it wouldn't take much tweaking to make it so. Uh, to take out the comments about the magazines and packages and household appliances and make them uh, bathtubs and stuff like that nature or, or uh, water barrels or something like that and you get an, an idea of how quickly it is to get started and if you want a different description you just clip, clip and you got another one and then another one and then another one I like this uh, generator uh, what I thought was really interesting is when I came to find names and I wanted to get a name for, let's say, a, uh, oh, let's see, what do I want? Uh, a kobold. I get a whole bunch of generic names down here. And you have a choice between male, female, and neutral names. But you can't tell what it is. Uh, so it's an interesting little application allows you to do such uh, and create uh, names and place names and things like place names. Let's get there. Let's say you wanted to uh, put an island in your campaign, but you just you want an original name. You don't want something that anyone else has used. Uh, let's go island names. <coughs> and down below, we have a bunch of different little... Uh, the homeless islands is pretty interesting and uh, deck archipelago interesting uh, it just it's just kind of interesting stuff that comes up does have a map generator flag generator grammar generator um, an army creator let's see what it does there I haven't tried this one if you wanted to create an army Alrighty.
Okay. Uh, it looks like you're creating some sort of character there. Oh well, had an opportunity. But it's, it's interesting what you can find. Uh, you need a volcano, need a name for a volcano? Well, there's volcano names. Mount Tranquility. <laughs> the Scorching Peak, Scorching Mountain. That's, that's a good name for a volcano. Yeah. So it's just an interesting page. Um, I came across it just by typing in... <coughs> fantasy name generators um, random or random name generators this is one of the sites that came up but uh, it, it's just a, a cool thing to, to have and to do uh, you can even come up with real names if you want let's say you want an uh, Argentinian name Castillo. yeah I can see those are names uh, yeah very Spanish in origin, very uh, Portuguese as well. Yeah, so it's an interesting site. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, take heart uh, that there are a lot of other generators out there. Riddle generator, slogan generator, school subjects, town creator, uh, weapon creator, um, guides on how to do things. It's just an interesting general purpose site that I found would be useful to those of you who uh, create your own dungeons and or uh, NPCs. With that, this is a short one. Have a good night. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know how you feel about this video and this site. Give it a shot. Again, fantasynamegenerators.com. Have a good day.